Hi everyone, it's Carrie Ann. I am making my third attempt of the night to do a tutorial on how to dome a bezel or how to dome anything. I get a lot of questions about the best way to keep uh, your resin from flowing over the edges. And most of that has to do with the surface tension of your dome. So I'm going to share with you some of the tips that I've learned over the years because believe me, I have had plenty of pieces ruined by overflow. So number one thing is you need a level workspace. I have these glass coasters that I got from, I don't know, Goodwill or something, garage sale. Oh, years ago and as you can see they've been used for a whole lot of stuff but it's a nice solid piece that I can move around if I need to and it's glass and I know it's level or it's flat however I work in my garage and garage floors are not level they slope away from the house so I already know that this needs to be leveled out so here's my level and as you can see, the bubble's going that way. So if I left it like this, my resin would also go that way. So you can use anything you want to try to raise your piece. Sometimes junk mail is really good because it can be very compressed. Um, you don't want anything that's going to smush. And I am going to use these. They're called handy shims. I liberated these from my husband's toolbox. And they're awesome. Uh, they come in varying sizes, thicknesses. So I think I'm going to need this one. And I want to do both sides of it because this piece of glass has uh, those little rubber feet under it. So I need to make sure both sides are raised. Oh, that's too much. Let's go for the green. Uh. A little bit more. What do I have? I'm going to try a couple pieces of vinyl. I have this little keyring sample of vinyl. Um, a few pieces under there. Ooh, pretty good. Get the other side. Oh, too much. Are you kidding me? I promise I tried this right before I turned the camera on. Take one down. One away from here. Another. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're level. I'm going to check 
sideways also. I'm sorry you can't see this one. Yep, I'm good side to side. All right, let me get the shims out of the way. Second thing is going to be to tape your piece. If this was an open back bezel, you would put tape under it anyway to keep the resin from flowing out the back. But I do this because when you pick up, if you have to pick this up to move it or to turn it to check for bubbles or anything, it is really hard to grip it without your skin touching the sides, which would break your surface tension. So. I always tear off a piece of tape. I fold the sides in so that I can move it without it sticking to my fingers. And then put this right in the middle. So now I'll be able to move it around and never touch this again. Also, helpful tip. Um, resin likes warmth, so make sure this is that whatever you're pouring in, whether it's a mold or it's a bezel or whatever it is, make sure it's not cold. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of bubbles. Tonight, I'm going to use UV resin um, just to make it quick. But all these same rules apply if you're using uh, two-part epoxy resin also. I'm just going to fill the bottom and then I'm going to try to put a little flower on here. I want to make something kind of cute for Nancy. She's had a really stressful couple weeks. We all have. Trying to get Craft Chameleon 2.0 up and running. So I've got a little bit of glitter, a little bit of mica powder. And I'm going to let that sit for just a second. I'm going to hit it with my heat gun. It is a little bit chilly out here. But that's also going to help with any bubbles that might be trapped in it. <laughs> and if you can hear my chair squeaking, I promise it is my chair. Every time I move, this thing creaks. All right, so that's looking pretty good. I'm going to put the lamp over it. And 120 seconds, we should be good. I'll be back. And we're back. Okay, so while the uh, 160 second timer or the lamp did cure this, I already messed up again. And when I was trimming my flower, it got stuck to the tape. So I had to take away the tape, try to salvage what I could, and uh, now we're back at it. So here's my clear resin. I added just a little bit of mother of pearl glitter flex in there because I would never make something for Nancy that doesn't sparkle. And I'm going to put my leaf in. Try to get that coated first. I'm going to do the flower. Oh, these make me so nervous. Um, 
break the surface tension. Sorry, I forget to talk when I'm concentrating. My tongue's out. Helps me think better. All right. I already got a little bit of liquid on the side there. A little bit of the resin. So before I add, before I dome it, I'm going to dry off those edges there because that is a pathway for more resin to follow. And try to get rid of some of the resin that's on here. We don't want it to dome yet. We want to try to keep it a little bit flat. Just glue down the flower and the leaf. Good. Scoop some of this out. All right, now I'm going to take one of my pointy Q-tips. Try to dry the edges. That's a piece of glitter. 
need to tuck that back in. I feel like there's too much resin in here. So um, UV resin will not cure where the light doesn't hit. So I don't want to have too much under this flower. Because it will keep it from curing underneath. So I'm going to hold it down with my silicone brush because this won't. Um, this won't stick to it. So I'm going to cure this, hold it down, and oop, I'm going to move, I'm going to move my little cup that has the resin in it for my top coat, this one, move that out of the way so I don't cure it. And 160 seconds, we'll be back. Okay, so this part is cured. Uh, you know, I'm going to warm this up a little bit. Sorry, I should have done this before I turned the camera back on. It'll be quick. There's my little heat gun. Just super quick, just to help thin it out a little because it is It's just a heat gun. Um, a little chilly in the garage. Nothing bad, but enough to make the resin a little thicker than I would want. All right, so here's the other trick to doming. Put a little bit in the middle. And then push it out to the sides. You're not looking for a dome yet. You're just looking for a pathway for your liquid to travel to. So it's kind of like when you're um, when you're painting. Oh. And you kind of push the bead to the edges. That's what we're doing here. Doesn't have to be even or level, it just has to cover the piece. Sorry, my tongue's out again. I'll get better at this, I promise. I 
Anyone else have any little idiosyncrasies that they do when they're concentrating? I have a couple of people make fun of me for. One is the tongue. I think better with my tongue out. And the other is my fingers think. Whenever I'm thinking about something. My fingers, I don't know, do something. Okay. So that has gone edge to edge. And now we're going to drip into the middle. And that's how we get our dome. The center of the flower is raised more than the rest. So I need to make sure that gets covered. Now we're going to let that rest for a minute. Any bubbles that might be stuck in there will start to come up. And then we can wave our torch over it. I feel like all the glitter is right there. I'm going to scoot it. Leave it alone. And I'm going to show you what this looks like. Not much of a dome yet. After it rests for a little bit. Let me see if I can focus it. Yeah. So we'll give it just, I don't know, maybe 10 more seconds and then add a few more drops and build our dome. Oh, here's another tip. Just thought of. When you're doing UV resin, um, let it cool down just a little bit after you hit it with the lighter because you don't want it to heat up so quickly that it starts bubbling. And by bubbling, I don't mean like it doesn't look like boiling water bubbling or anything like that. It just makes a lump in your piece. Okay, so we're going to add a couple drops to the middle. Probably two more, and then we'll check it again. I think we can go a little more. Good. 
do two more drops. Check it again. So I'm a rebel like that. I like to push it to the edge. I think one more. What do you think? Let's go one more. Okay, two more. And we're going to let that sit and level out. Make sure there's no bubbles. That's our dome. See how it's got a nice slope to it, nice surface tension there. We're not going to do anything else that would mess that up. All right, I'm going to give this a minute to sit. And then I will put the light on it for 160 seconds, and we'll come back and take a look at it. Okay, so I cured this for a total of three minutes to finish it up. And here we are. This is driving me crazy that I didn't get it all the way to the edge here. I can get the flower to the edge. The dome is to the edge, but the flower is not. Oh, that makes me crazy. But you can see how the dome is all the way around. No runoffs, no accidents. Little sparklies in it, not to be confused with air bubbles. Nice, smooth, shiny finish. And then if you want to see tonight's first um, actually, this is probably the second, from the second video I did. First video, my mic went out halfway through. I didn't know. Um, so I sanded this down. Another video, the top coat. And the second mic only lasted about 30 seconds into the video. So that was another one. So these are the two projects for tonight to make one video. But I hope you found some helpful tips in it. If you have any questions or if there's any other kind of tutorial that you're hoping to find someday, let me know. I'd love to do one for you. I've made all the mistakes already. So I'm here to save you. Have a great night. Bye.